Schönen guten Tag zusammen und ähm, herzlich willkommen ähm, zu unserer heutigen Konferenz im Namen aller Veranstalter. Wir haben zwei Themen, die normalerweise nicht zusammen verhandelt werden, nämlich einmal die ähm, Arbeitsbedingungen, die wirtschaftliche Ausbeutung auf den usbekischen Baumwollfeldern und eben der Umgang mit Menschenrechtsverletzungen wie Folter, ähm, insbesondere nach dem ähm, Andijan Massaker 2005. Usbekistan has been the lead item on the BBC twice in my lifetime, I think. Uh, the first time was the day I got sacked. Um, and the second time was the Andijan massacre. There are uh, not many countries left in the world with uh, such repressive regime like in Uzbekistan. People now actually are not able to stand up for their rights. They are too afraid to do so because any kind of peaceful, independent, um, civil or political activity are, um, activities are criminalized. President Karimov and his uh, high-level officials, um, they are committed and still are committing serious crimes. Human Rights Watch published a report last December which documents new evidence of extensive torture in prisons and police stations in Uzbekistan. Um, uh, terrible conditions, terrible examples of uh, torture documented in the report. Boiling, boiling water, electric shocks, simulated rape. Additionally, there is a trend of assassination attempt on most outspoken oppositioners. For example, uh, nine days ago in um, Sweden, in uh, one um, refugee and uh, Obed Koranazarov was ass uh, attempt assassination. He is now in very bad condition. Uh, in September, now one was killed in Moscow, near Moscow. In uh, 2007, journalist Alisher Saib was killed. And I, I wrote at that time, the special rapporteur believes on the basis of numerous testimonies, including a number of deaths in custody he received during the mission, not least from those who evident fear led them to request anonymity and who thus had nothing to gain personally from making their allegations that torture or similar ill treatment is systematic. Um, my successor, Manfred Novak from Austria, was no more allowed to, to visit. Uh, and in fact, no other special rapporteur of the United Nations was ever further allowed to visit uh, Uzbekistan. Independent investigation on the spot is not welcome. Im Jahre 2006 hat der Ausschuss eine Reise nach Usbekistan unternommen. Wir haben ein Gefängnis besucht und wir haben festgestellt, dass es ausgesprochen differierende Meinungen äh, zum Thema Folter, zum Thema medizinische Versorgung, zur allgemeinen menschenrechtlichen Lage äh, und insbesondere auch zum Thema Kinderarbeit gibt. The long trend of history is, is of course that these dictatorships are disappearing. You look at the time before the Berlin Wall fell, there were 50% more totalitarian states and dictatorships than there were democracies. Today, there are three times as much electoral democracies as there are this kind of dictatorships. As we know, for uh, these kind of regimes, it's uh, much easier to oppress people, to ignore the law and to um, violate human rights when there is no attention from international community and uh, when nobody asks unpleasant questions. So the big trend of history means that the Karimo family will lose. And the big question is, are we, are we as gay, are our governments, our organizations on the right side of history or on the wrong side of history?